Yo, what's up? I'm QCB. And I'm your boy B Notes. And man, welcome to another exciting episode of Box Office Chowder, where we talk about new movies, old movies, movies on streaming services, any type of cinema, we got you. You know why? Because we are movie buffs. Yeah, today, what we got for y'all, no, no action. Right. We're trying to expand our horizons. There you We're go. talking about movies. There you go. We got Bob Marley's One Love, Q. That's right. Uh... I'm excited about this movie. This is my first time. Like I didn't know Jay Z was an actor, but for Jay Z playing Bob Marley, I knew it was a reason he was growing his hair. I know him and Cam Newton. I didn't know what was going on there, but I think it's gonna be. What's wrong? Why we gotta say Jay? Why? Oh, it's not Jay Z not playing Bob Marley. No, it is. No. He growing his hair like that. Anyway, enough about Beyonce's uncle because I refuse to believe that's her husband. Uh, who's the guy starring uh, Bob Mark? His name is Ben Adir. Yeah, uh, James P. Kingsley. Yeah. Kingsley Ben Adir. He plays the Super Scroll on the, uh, the Marvel Secret Invasions. He played in Barbie. He's played in. He got a, he got, got a nice little he resume, got some going going on. On. resume going. And also, we got uh, Lashana Lynch. Lashana yeah. Lynch plays Monica Rambeau. And the, uh, and no, it's mom. Monica Rambeau's mom. mom. Oh, mom. Yeah, mom. Okay. And and man, I'm I'm excited about it. We get to see these how he came up with these songs like yeah. "One Love" and, and "Who Shot the Sheriff" and "No and, Woman, No Cry." No, I, mean, I need no, a crack or hair comb. Like he got so many. And we know Bob Marley's uh, music is impactful with to America, man. Oh, yeah, it was it was. He's like a re he was a revolutionary. Like James Brown. Yeah, throw Tupac in there. I mean, even like Muhammad Ali, far as you know, far as. Uh, impact in America on a social part as well. Absolutely, yeah. Then we get to see how these songs came about. Oh, man. He wrote them, all these background. He might, we might see him run into another celebrity in the movie. I like when they add that element to bio. Yeah, because I never knew like James Brown and Little Richard kind of came like back, like you just never know. And, and they were name dropping each other at concerts <laughs> and it's like, we didn't see that growing up. Yeah, man, yeah. So I'm looking forward to this movie. Yeah, man. and I'm really looking forward to this movie. And um, the director, uh, Ronaldo uh, uh, Marcus who Green. Yeah, who that? He he has a, um, a you know he has a thing for biopics. He did Joe Bell, which starred Mark Wahlberg, and he did King Richard. Oh wow! With that, with that damn the greatest of all that time, damn Will Smith, the greatest actor. I still time. can't stand Will Smith. I, I don't know why. I know, man. I ain't over the slap yet, man. I, I hate Will Smith like Waffle House employees hate their customers. <laughs> But I'm just saying, but I'm looking forward to the movie. So, yeah. Bob Marley, uh, One Life, One Love. One Love, uh, One Love. I'm kind of confused by the topic, but I, we got it. <laughs> one Love, set to release February the 14th. Man, make sure y'all go see that. Yeah. Right? yeah, I'm your boy, B-Notes. If you want to one nine, Monday through Friday from 3 to 7, man, check me out, man, on Fox Sports Radio, Charlotte, man. Also, check me out on V101.9 and K1047. You everywhere. We're all over the place. All right, man, we up out of here. Appreciate it. Let's go.